Schema offers many ways to build instruments. We have seen how it is possible to drag and drop samples directly. But sometimes you might start from a single recording file containing all the sounds. As example, this one contains some recorded strings. In this case, we can drag and drop the recording on one of the magic parts and it will be automatically split, faded, auto-mapped and auto-looped to build our instrument. And in this case, we can already save this instrument and use it to play music. Using the magic parts, we can also build some very complex instruments with round robins and key switches. And it's still a single drag and drop. In this case, we recorded a glass at various velocities and positions multiple times using a sequence described in the Keymap user guide. Let's hear the complete recording. And now let's drag and drop this file on magic pad number 2 and we'll get parametric auto mapping. We recorded 3 hits for each variation, 3 sound variations and 2 velocities. We map this to C1 with 1 octave width. And voila, here is our instrument. There are many layers, many groups, you don't really want to to go and check, it works. So let's try playing something. The green notes are key switches and they let you change the sample set. And of course, this is not a quality recording. We did that in our office, but uh, with parametric auto mapping, you can really get some fantastic results if you have the material. Until now, we have used the auto split functions in Keymap, and these rely on having a good amount of silence or background noise between individual hits. However, sometimes you have a recording where each note goes into the other with no silence in between. When this happens, the auto split function will consider these sounds connected and won't split them. Let's check this example. Those hits are too close and there is no silence between. Let's try mapping them and this is what we get, this is ok, this is not ok. The sound did not stop here. You can see that there is still the low level signal from the, the previous hit and the same here, you see. So this is the wrong approach for this kind of material. When you have this kind of situations, you should use uh, slices. You should slice uh, a transients, like we are doing now. And then once we have the slices, we select them. 
and we map them to the layer. We delete the original recording, selection, auto map using pitch detection. And we got our piano instruments. And just to show you a typical workflow, I will also uh, loop the piano with the Penrose machine. And here we have our loops. Kima Pro also has a built-in audio recorder and you can use it to directly record into your instrument. If you set the recorder to auto stop at silence and then auto restart and select an appropriate auto map setting, building instruments is simply a matter of playing them. In this example, the instrument we are going to sample is more like an insult than a real instrument and we will map it sequentially so we'll be able to play the sound from the keyboard as a sound effect. And now I remap these zones to a different range on the keyboard. And this is our original instrument. Let's sample a real instrument now, an electric piano. And first we capture the silence threshold, then we select auto stop and auto restart recording, and we auto map with pitch detection. This is my basic instrument and I'm saving it. Then uh, I'm adding uh, the loops. I'm using the Rose machine again. And then I need to tweak uh, the velocity curve. So we are using the dynamics remapping envelope here to remap the velocities. We also reduce the dynamic range. Uh, with basically, the volume response with velocity and then we add some velocity crossfade this is an excess 24 only feature and now we have a, a basic instrument but uh, good sounding out of six samples and it took very very little time to build something like this
When it's time to record some percussive sounds, we select Auto Stop and Auto Start Recording and Auto Map Velocity only. I'll build a glass percussive instrument now. I'm tweaking the envelope to have more release. 